mail transfer agent. It could be your mail server. Okay? Your own mail server. I'm the client here. I'm the PC here. Okay? I'm going to send a letter to somewhere else. I am Mike at bth.se so I'm sending my email to bth.se server Okay, at oh. as you can see, there are hundreds of PCs here. One of the other one is I don't know a at sign bth dot se. It doesn't really matter. All of them are connected. The bth dot se. So I'm using SMTP for sending. Email. So, I I will send it to bth.se. You can call it anything. At sign bth.se. It could be anything at sign bth.se. Mm -hmm. uh, so here that is the is a I don't know. Eta.se. Okay. And his address is, I don't know, and with that, he got a test key. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to send emails to this guy. Okay. So, the mail server BTA should find something else. This is Ika. Tell me. And it, this one's also in the ICUS domain. So, here's the internet, right? Mm -hmm. So, BTH mail server is responsible to find ICUS domain, okay? So, it's sending a request here and asks to be in a server. You know there is ICA because this is from and in the two it's I don't know I've got an email from one of my I don't know clients mm -hmm. to something at internet first of all it will ask the DNS server do you have Inca? And he will check on his list, and here's Ika. Will be 20, 20, 1, 10. Okay, and he just enters it is entered to the Ika network, okay? So, I got an email from Mike at DTH.SD. I'm going to send it to Andrew at Ica.SD. Then the mail server will go outside to the internet, try to find the Ica domain. So he will ask the DNS, do you have the Ica on your list? And he will say that yes, Ica is two something, something, something. Okay? And then it goes to here, try to find which server? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. We've got different servers, security server, mail server, FTP server. Mm -hmm. What kind of server do you need? Mail server. Mail server. How do you know that? Because the mail server is looking for the mail server too. So it goes to this part. It means that.
that. I can say that. Here it is. It's using SMTP protocol to forward theme. Okay? It should be tough. No. There's a state forward. Uh, what is responsible to deliver me? Wait. Are you? In the bottom of the page. No. Wait. Okay? Okay? So, the packet is here. And the mail server will check it list. Is there any other than the network? Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. There is a DNS, there is DHCP here, and lots of other services, as I said. Okay, so different servers. And the mail server will find this one. Hello? Okay. Whose computer is that? That's from Adelza's computer. And it will give Adelza the letter. True. Top protocol. Do you understand how it works? Why is not Wait, wait. Do you understand how does it work? We are always using, we are also using DNS server and DHCP server in here. You know that? Because we want to, we try to find Adelaide, Adelaide .e is the name of the computer. Okay? Adelaide. Mm -hmm. Their computer is, for example, something else. Could be anything. It well, could be. It's PC1. I don't know. Okay. Mail server will see that. That's PC1. And which IP address? Because systems are working with the IP address. So he will ask the DNS, what is the IP address? And he says that 192.168.11. I don't know, 01. Who gives you, who gives address on this IP address? Yeah. Yeah. No. DNS will show you PC1 is this one. DHCP. DHCP was the one who gave this computer the IP address. And in DNS, you can change it. You can go from PC1 to the IP address. So there is just one person in the network who will give you the IP address, okay, give you as a computer the IP address. And there's another server in the network who will resolve the IP name, the IP and the computer's name. DNS won't give you the IP address. He just knows your IP address and your computer name. So, DNS will get your computer name from directly from your computer. But who's in charge to give you the IP address in the network? For DHCP. Because as I told you, DHCP is the one in the network who will give you the IP address because there shouldn't be any duplication in the network. So the DHCP is give one, two, three, four, five, and inform DNS. PC number one, I just gave them IP one. Know that. If someone asks you where is PC1, that's IP number 1. PC number 2, IP number 2. Mail server, IP number 112, right? Mm -hmm. So this is the procedure. You're sending an email via SMTP protocol to your mail server. Mail server, we're using lots of things, as I said, the DNS and things like that. Mm -hmm. And connect to the interest domain. And you're going to find the mail server. Who's going to find the mail server? There are elements here. Mm -hmm. Okay? But you're going to find here if there was any address, it will ask the DNS which IP did DHCP assign to address and say 01. Then it goes directly to the 01 and gives you the address. Or, uh -huh, that's why this is top three. Because this computer is sending a request to the mail server. If I've got any new mails, please give it to me. So he won't inform the PC. Always PC asks, is there any new things? He will 
better tell the PC to if you've got any email, send it to me. He just said, said that I've got an email, please forward it to me. So this one is talking to this one and sending. And here is asking for new email. Do I have any new email? Yes. Hi. Hey, sorry, we have this booked at uh, 2 o'clock. If you don't mind, this room? Did you book it? Yeah.